Hi guys, today we're gonna play with new Flip Sub Houdini 90.5. Finally, we have Flip in Sub level. Hi again, my name is Dyson. Glad to be here. Recently, Fox as Side Effects released a new version of Houdini 90.5 and they announced Flip Solver at Sub level. Okay, we have this box and this geometry to collide with. We're gonna use the box as a source. Let's drop a flip container. Okay, let's resize that. Be careful with the resizing because it can impact the performance. Okay, that's good. Now let's drop flip boundary. Basically, that's a flip source. Okay. Let's connect these guys together. Cool, and the box with fourth input. And let's drop flip solver now. Okay, let's connect that and let's play. And that's the basic source. So let's set up our collider. Let's use this geometry and let's drop flip collider here okay the fourth input will be our geometry and now let's play okay we have this collider working okay now let's have a force let's dive in in sub solver and drop pop force here okay let's have a wind or direction force and let's play okay and now let's merge these guys together nice let's see them together okay let's play and see what we have here okay it's decent and let's turn off the collision and the spheres and let's change that to splashy solver and let's cash this out okay as you can see we have this simple river here okay that's cool for now and now let's have another geometry to collide with we have this character from Miximo and I'm bringing it in let's merge this collider together let's drop a merge here okay and let's connect it to fourth input of the Philip collider and now let's recache it As you can see, we have this decent river and that's okay for now. By the way, if you like this video, please subscribe for more content and help us to grow. That will be awesome, actually. Okay, what we need now, we need to oppress the simulation in this area around the character without going to oppress the whole simulation. So for that, let's drop another flip container here okay as you can see flip container can have input let's drop a sphere for instance to reshape that as a sphere nice and let me adjust that okay let's go to flip container here and let's check implicit round here that's give us a better representation of our geometry let's drop flip solver now nice let's connect that and rename the flip solver to flip solver oppress for instance okay let's set up our collider now let's drop flip collider nice and let's connect that to our collider nice and now as you can see we have a fourth input of the flip solver that's the key this low resolution simulation will be the guide of this new Philip solver
okay in order to increase the resolution we're gonna go to second container and reduce particle separation here nice and now let's cache this new simulation file cache so the cache is done and that's our simulation let's compare that to to the low resolution and let's see that that's our low resolution sim and that's our opera sim as you can see the difference is obvious okay that's how you can use the new flip solver in houdini 90.5 and i hope you enjoyed this one by the way we have extra section in this video see ya Welcome to extra section. We're gonna match this simulation with VDB. Let's drop VDB from particle and let's see. As you can see, we have surface field and let's connect that. Okay, let's reduce voxel size. Nice. Now let's decrease the radius of the point. Okay, 0 0.4 is okay for now. Let's reshape the VDB okay now let's smooth the vdb we're gonna use mean value and that's okay i guess let's copy that using multi layer smooth now let's go back and forth and tweak the sum value and see the different result we're gonna get here Okay, that's for the upper simulation. Now let's reshape the low res simulation. Let's drop VDB from particle here. As usual, let's increase the voxel size and point radius. And let's reshape that. Let's smooth that. And that will be okay for now. And let's tweak them okay let's combine them we're gonna use maximum operation here as you can see the low sim is on top the oppress sim so for that let's delete that certain area let's drop a group node here and connect that to the oppressed boundary that will be the sphere okay that's our low res simulation and that's the area we're gonna delete let's drop the delete now change that to point and that's delete for now so let's see the result now okay that's better now okay another useful note i found is vdb from particle fluid so let's go to help and see what in the help okay the side effects guys said it used less memory and gives a smoother result let's see that let's connect that to the particle and let's adjust particle separation and voxel size and that's the result in order to blending these two meshes together we're gonna use vdb smooth after the vdb combine as you can see these two meshes is so different by the resolution let's drop vdb smooth here okay and we're gonna use gaussian okay let's increase that and let's see it from the far enough 
yeah that's good it's not production result but it's decent as you can see now let's go to vdb convert and convert that to polygon yeah and for memory efficiency we're gonna use adaptive here for the reduce the polygon count in order to transfer attribute from particle to this mesh we're gonna use attribute transfer here okay let's connect the second input to the particle i match these guys together as you can see nice now let's go to attribute transfer as you can see it's already transferred the cd or the color attribute so beside that we can we can transfer this force speed or velocity that's awesome and i guess that's it guys i hope you enjoyed this one and see you in the next video goodbye